Welcome, everyone. First of all, happy Friday to you. My name's Austin. I am your Flashpoint Master Facilitator here. We focus on creating that big breakthrough in your life. We have a, well, this is an exclusive show today. We are deviating because today we are going to be focusing on, I need a drum roll. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> the health turnaround story. More specifically, your health turnaround story. It's a very big weekend. This show is actually kicking off a very big weekend. I want you to stay tuned for the details. We have a summit happening on Sunday with all the amazing authors that you're going to learn from, and you're going to hear their stories from illness to wellness. And I'm telling you, these people are incredible heart-centered people that have so much to give and share not only from a, a knowledge perspective, but just from a pure heart connection perspective. So we're going to be meeting some of those authors today. I'm going to be having our beautiful spokesperson, Mandy Robinson, joining us soon. But let's kick off the show as we normally do. And I want to welcome you in. And I want you to honor where you are on this Friday. You, you got here. You showed up here. So a lot of things have already happened before this. So I honor your focus your time and your commitment, and I want you to get something from it. Let's start the show off. The first thing we do is we highlight the hourglass as an invitation to step into the present moment. You know, we want to avoid worrying about the future, the things that we don't even know, and we want to avoid regretting a past mistake. We are here. This is where life is. You're on this show. You're either live or playback, and I want you to focus on right now. You clicked. Get something of value today. Will you dial into the present moment right now with us? Type in yes, if you will. And I want to welcome in our expanding audience. We are streaming on Apple TV, Amazon, Fire, Roku, and many other platforms. I want to welcome you in, and I want to welcome you into this space as we talk about the health turnaround today. The next thing I want to highlight is the Thomas Edison light bulb, which is actually purchased on site where the this light bulb this is a replica, of course, not the original. But this is always a symbol of persistence in action. You know, as the old story goes, I did not fail 10,000 times. I successfully created 10,000 ways in which the light bulb did not work. That's what Thomas and Edison was quoted as saying when he was asked, how does it feel to fail 10,000 times? So this light bulb, I'm going to use this light bulb today to highlight great moments throughout the show, educational moments distinctions, heartfelt shares, your shares. Type away if something's moving you throughout the show. We're going to highlight the light bulb. And the cowbell we have is for fun. We're going to use the cowbell for some fun because you can never have too much cowbell. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Mandy to join us as our spokesperson of Flashpoint. Mandy, are you ready to join? I got a thumbs up there. Mandy. I want Hello. To How are you this afternoon? I'm feeling great. It's as you know, it's a big weekend, so there's yes. been a lot, a lot of moving parts. It can seem chaotic at times, but it's always fulfilling. It How is, you... and it always flows. As long as we chill, take a deep breath, and just allow the process, it always works out. It always does. It does, and I want to say that for the listener too. You may feel like, well, it doesn't always work out for me. Well, you know what? I want you to step into this space with us. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can work out for you. Let's see what can open up. And chances are you're on your health journey. And I want to speak to the audience before we bring our authors on because what I always realize is that people that click on this show, they're usually in one of two places. One, they're in a situation. Right. The Niagara sy syndrome. You, you've made life decisions, some of them unconsciously, and now you're heading for the falls. And you finally realize you're heading for the falls. And you're, you're like, you've been given a diagnosis. You have a condition. Maybe it was an accident and, you, and you're being told that it's a certain way. But something inside you feel differently about it. And you maybe want, you're looking for more options. I want to welcome you in because you're going to get some insight today. And we want you to join us on Sunday where we're going to go deeper. Number two, you're somebody who maybe you've been on your health journey and you're feeling good, but you know there's some tweaks you need to make in your health journey to go even better. You want to, maybe you're an athlete. We're going to be hearing from Dr. Grant, who's worked with Olympic athletes. The Olympics are going on right now. 
you're going to, you, you're somebody who wants to level up. You want more energy, vitality, and you, you want that. So they're usually the two type of people that are going to listen to this show. Uh, Mandy, let me turn it back over to you before we start to bring on our authors here. Yeah, there's also going to be a third group of people that we, we often forget about. Call them the general public, call them what you like, but they're people that are looking for inspiration. And it, although that can be found on many different platforms, today's world with all its hustle and bustle and so-called medicinal cures, as it were, people are always searching for the inspiration around their health. So even if they're not specifically, you know, a death doorstep or whatever right now, there's still a lot packed into this event today that they can gain inspiration from. And it, they might just hear one little thing, one small little thing. They might hear something large and think, oh, wow, she did it, he did it. Oh, wow, I'm facing this, perhaps I can that, right? So the inspiration, for me anyway, is always at the center of everything like this. Awesome. Thanks for bringing that out, up, Manny. And you're absolutely right. And sometimes there's people that they don't even know they're looking. They just yeah. have a feeling that something goes going on. They, they want more. They're seeking more. And yeah. as you're going to hear, <clears throat> uh, Greg, I, I liken Gregory Hall to this, but he was actively seeking and he found Dr. Grant. So we're going to hear a story today unfold right before our eyes where yes. you're going to hear something like this. So you may be somebody, you know, there's a different way, a better way. And, and we want you to grab those distinctions today, at least get started. And we want to welcome you to join us on Sunday when we, we launch the book. We yes. launch the book. So why don't, before we bring, let me share the book cover. Yeah. Because I, I want to, this is our revised book cover. The authors are going to see this too for the first time. So let me, uh, let's do that right now. There's going to be more on this on Sunday. I'm excited. I'm excited for every one of these authors that are going to be launching this. Some of them for the first time being in a book. This is very exciting. It's, I know how that feels. It's like, yes, Mandy went through that. It's like sacred ground. And, you, yeah. you know, we're sharing these stories uh, as we as we share and launch this book on Sunday. Mandy, what I'd like to do is transition if you are ready, unless there's anything else you want to share before we do that. No, I'm good. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go for it. it. So we're going to go through, meet some of the authors today that are going to be with us on Sunday. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sequentially bring them on. So we're going to bring them on and let's go through and hear. We're going to bring them on one by one. I'm going to start with Gregory Hall and Greg, we're just going to get to meet him, let him say a few words, and then I'm going to start to bring on the, the other guests as well. So let me start with Gregory. Gregory, are you ready to join us? Gregory, welcome to the program. Welcome, Gregory. <laughs> now, how are you feeling? Because I, <laughs> we're going to talk. You need to get some sleep, I believe, because you've been working uh, extended hours. So we know how important sleep is. But how are you feeling overall? Uh, overall, I'm feeling great. Uh... My health is the best it's been in 30 plus years. I'm going to ring How about? for that because uh, yeah. that is a big distinction. So we're going to want to learn more about that. But before we do, let's, you want to just share maybe a, a little like short version of what you're doing, what your passion is today and kind of how you, how you got there. Maybe just a short version. Yeah, basically, um, I was short changing myself every day and uh, I was in pain and uh, couldn't get the help from regular medicine. You know, I saw over 30, almost 30 specialists, five family doctors, and I'm here now trying to tell my story. Yeah. So this, this is a great uh, a segue. You, 30 years, you, you've been to 30 specialists. Five doctors. Five, and you feel the best you felt in 30 years. The best I felt in 30 years with none of their help. And let me share this. I, I like to just put it out there because you are going on very little sleep right now. Is that true? Correct. Now, 
Here's what I want to share because I think, and I think you'll, you'll resonate with this. When you do the right thing for your body, most of the time, you can push yourself when you need to, right? Without causing major problems. Like if, if you could go back, imagine that you went back in your journey and you weren't sleeping and you're dealing with that. Like, what would that look like compared to what it looks like today? Well, I think that, yeah, if you're taking care of yourself, you can push yourself a little bit harder. And uh, I can definitely see now that it's possible. And um, the biggest thing is that uh, you just have to look for the help. The help. Ask for the help. Yes. So what? I, okay, I'm going to bring Dr. Grant on here in a moment. <clears throat> He's on the phone because this is the story of your story of to uh, all these professionals with no to no avail, and then you meet Dr. Grant, who all of a sudden it's like it's like the you, you went from the darkness into the light, right? You started to get these insights that you never heard before. Yeah. Well. Basically, I reached out to an old friend. Um, she's uh, a registered nurse. And I basically reached out to her to see if I can get any contacts to, you know, hopefully know exactly what the problem was and, you know, get everything taken care of. And when she gave me the number, um, I just know it was Dr. Grant. But then when I did some research, I realized that he wasn't bandwagon of the other doctors mm, so you had a did you have a feeling at that point that something could be different did you have hope to tell you the truth i didn't really have a feeling like when i started to when i got his number and i started to do research and i called him and i made an appointment um personally i was just looking for relief um the fastest way i can get the relief that's the only thing i was looking for so what was what was the initial thing that made you other than you'd got the contact information for Dr. Grant? What exactly in your mind was happening when you d decided to call him? Were you open to something new? Did you have any prejudice towards him? What was in going through your mind at the time? Well, basically, I was missing time off of work. And uh, mm. if you're missing time off of work, you're not making any money. If you're not making any money, you can't pay any bills, you can't put any food on the table, you can't take care of your family. Um, so I was basically in a crunch where I needed to get these things on the roll. And um, basically, I would have took I, I would have took help from the corner store if I would have got it. <laughs> okay, so let's do this, uh, Mandy. If I could, I want to bring Dr. Grant on. It looks like Dr. Grant, are you are you available, sir? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's bring on Dr. Grant because this is an this is an incredible story. Dr. Grant, welcome. Thank Namaste, you. Dr. Grant. Good to oh, see you. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Austin. Austin. Hello, my hero, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Grant, welcome to the to the program today as we get ready for Sunday in the summit. But this is a story that is close to home, and this is such a great thing that this is happening. Where it's just. I can't even imagine what Gregory went through before he found you and then he finds you. And I, what did you think about this? Like when, when he reached out to you, cause you've dealt with some, you've dealt with gosh, 20,000 patients in your past 35 plus years at this point. So 25,000 clients that I helped them with severe pain. Like when actually um, Gregory came to see me, it was just, I said, yeah, we can help you. And he was somewhat skeptical because he has been 30 years searching for something natural instead of painkillers. Just imagine yourself taking Oxycontin, morphine, Percocet th that are habit forming and it only numb the pain. It does not deal with the root cause. And the root cause of his pain was lack of blood flow. And we did the bicranial, we did all of the stuff. And he actually, in the first session, he felt... 20% relief from his pain. He could not believe it. He could not actually move his neck this way or this way. His back was stiff. At, at the end, everything was moving. Everything was mobilized. And it, it is not about my knowledge. It's not about my three doctorates. It's all about good looking. This is really what... what... <laughs> <laughs> then Dr. 
Grant. I'm, I'm the same. Because you are good much. looking. <laughs> so it takes and good attitude and smile. You know what? Uh, Gregory is truly a hero because he said, I'm going to follow all my advice. I'm going to do all of the stretching, all of the deep breathing. Not a single physician told him about the deep breathing. In fact, when he did the deep breathing with me, he felt release. He felt blood flow. You know what? If any clients listen to us, if any person have pain and they do the 10 deep belly breath, the Wim Hof belly breath every hour, there is a reduction of 20% of their pain. It doesn't matter how knowledgeable the doctor is. It doesn't matter how handsome he is. <laughs> it's all it's breathing and then water. And then I, I, I put him on a regular supplements, antioxidants. And here we go. He is very healthy. And by the way, the diploma behind the Gregory there, I had part of it because I was his professor in that course. He got this diploma from there. And by the way, you're speaking now to Gregory Hall. Within one and a half year, he's going to be Dr. Gregory Hall. Oh, he's doing cowbell. <laughs> I'm so excited for you, uh, Gregory. That is amazing. Yes, yeah. uh, you know, and, and it's it's just a the story is is beyond health because it's about turning your pain into your purpose. And this is happening in your life, this transmutation of your life. It's it's hard to wrap. And I want the audience, someone's going through pain right now and they're they're wondering what to do. You can connect with Dr. Grant. Beside his good looks, he will absolutely help you, I promise. <laughs> We so, can show you'll how, you'll how laugh if nothing pain. else. We always yes. end up laughing. Exactly. Yeah. So we get, we go from pain to PhD. I mean, wow. <laughs> I don't know how many pain specialists can do this to anybody. <laughs> from pain, <laughs> from narcotics to PhD. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't exist. You see, his journey from illness to wellness was so remarkable. I Maybe I played 15%, maybe 20% in it. Truly. He did actually 80% of the work because he did the stretching, he did the belly breathing, he did the water, he took the supplement, he did everything I told him to do. He is very reliable, uh, like very determined. And now he has no pain. I mean, 30 years ago, in fact, he was thinking of killing one of the surgeons. <laughs> oh, he had oh, I no pain to <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I want to do right now, because I want to honor, we're, we're going to give a, by the way, we're going to be back here Sunday. You're going to hear more details of the story. We're launching the book. We are launching oh, a cowbell. book. Cowbell, bring that bell. More bring that bell. And I'm telling you, you're going to be moved, not just from the health, you just pure inspiration. So what I want to do, um, I'm going to share the link for Sunday and I'm going to bring on Joe, Joe T. Well, because he has a client that he's going to be, I believe he has a client in the next 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to bring Joe to our, our conversation here so we can get to meet him. Joe, you ready? Okay, here we go. Joe, welcome to the program today. Joe, How are you? Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Exciting, exciting day. Incredibly awesome day. And uh, Dr. Grant, I'm going to be one of your students. <laughs> I got to get connected with you because we have a lot of people that need help. Yes. Oh, fabulous. Do it. Yeah, yes. That. This is beautiful. This is one. Yes. And Joe, you got a lot going on. You're passionate. I love your passion. I love your story. I love what your, your wellness journey, overcoming addiction. And I love the fact that you said yes to this project. I, I, yes. So what are you feeling like you can only share a little bit about, you know, we're doing like a short version today because we're going to be doing the full version on Sunday, but I want I want people to at least get a feel for Joe T. Well today. Well, thank you for having me. Um, you know, what I believe is so much what um, Dr. Grant teaches is that our bodies are amazing, living, breathing organisms, and they are so sensitive to everything and primarily our environments. And I think that one of the problems with most people's health issues is that they don't take control of their environments and make them align with what their values are in life. And that's your health and the way you love people, the way you serve, the way you fuel your body. We are so fragmented and so distracted by buzz terms and marketers that are selling products and, and um, unsustainable uh, life journeys that mean nothing and uh, we're, we're lost. And, you know, I had a, I'm one of those people that I literally became decayed in the way I thought and the way I was living. And even in my future vision for myself, 
uh, because of the environments that I lived in. And I just felt like, you know what, this is who I am and what I am. And you know what, what I learned is my body desired something so much greater. And my faith led me to, to just be honest and open with what I wanted. And once I connected my value to what I want, who am I? And I looked at my environmental issues and I said, you know what, not today, no more. And I just took a stand. And that's what being healthy is. We just got to take a stand. And Amen. I, I, you know, I could go on and on, but just yesterday I have a woman that has so much inflammation in her gut that she's afraid to eat. And you know what the root cause of that is? Is it M&Ms and pop tarts and alcohol to oh. some degree but really what it comes down to is this woman after an hour of an assessment told me i hate myself oh my God. that oh. drives everything yes yes and that is yeah. where we need to be as as coaches is getting to the core root of where yeah. these disease and where these things are happening and fix those little things that drive who we are and our behaviors there we go that's that's a that's a light bulb. That's a light bulb moment is what you just said, Joe. Get to the root. And this and Dr. Grant talks about this all the time. It's he, he calls it what's what you eat, what you don't eat, and what's eating you. Yes. Right? Yeah. So so fixing what drives us basically, just like yes. Joe said. Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly. about listen, it, it, we live in a culture that is about quick fix and deprive and deny when it should be all about nourish and replenish and a regeneration of our bodies. And that's a that, big that's distinction. What it is. But, uh, hold on, we gotta grab this. Uh, I love what you just said. <clears throat> Most people are coming from deprive, like they associate health and wellness with deprive and deny. Yeah. And what you're saying is mind shift, no. Nourishment, and what else did you say? Replenish, regenerate. Replenishment. That is such a mind shift right there. That mind shift alone can change someone's journey. Uh, Dr. Grant, what do you think about what Joe is saying here? I am 100% in agreement with Joe. He just speak my language. And I think also, if we can add just one thing, we have to control stress because we have to switch from sympathetic, which is fight, flight, fright, and freeze. This is what 80% of people living in right now in this COVID era. Yes. To parasympathetic, which is rest, digest, deep breathe, relax, stop and smell the roses, write a book with us about the turnaround <laughs> from illness to wellness. And that will, like, why would anybody have any low self-esteem in this COVID-19 when we think positive? We'll go from sympathetic stress to parasympathetic, which is really what we need to focus on, like what Joe is saying. He just spoke yep. my language. So great. Thank you, Joe. And I'd be honored to have you as my student in your doctorate program, sir. Uh, that's yes. you. I'm so How about there we go? <laughs> yes. So awesome. Great things are gonna come from this. I just want to honor a couple things right here. Uh Sarah is she listens to the program a lot. She's at home right now dealing with COVID. So I think we want to maybe lend some insight there. Uh Ivy is re reiterating that what you said, Joe, nourishment, replenishment, and regeneration. Yes. And uh, Diane, who is a new new member of our community, which I'm very excited. Diane is going through our journey to freedom right now. And uh, she said, wow, you're speaking to me. So beautiful. Um, awesome. So why don't we, uh, if we can, because I, I, okay, looks like Gregory, are you ready to rejoin us here, Gregory? Okay. So we're back with Gregory's with us here. So what do you want to, what would you say to somebody right now who has COVID? I'm going to start off with Dr. Grant here. Okay, very simple. You go to academyofwellness.com and then you look at my recommendations for COVID-19. I wrote this on January 2020 before this COVID becomes a severe epidemic here. My recommendation was simply take 10,000 IU of vitamin D3. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, drops or soft gels. Just you need 10,000. Physician recommend only 1,000. I recommend 10,000. And I take 10,000 IU up to 12,000 per day. Vitamin C, 5,000. Zinc is very important minerals for the immune system. Uh, doctors recommend 20 milligrams. I take and recommend 80 to 100 milligrams. Why? Because zinc, not just for the immune system, 
you remember the song uh, Austin when we were doing the the show about the the zinc song? Zinc is not just for immune system. Zinc for zinc, zinc to think, zinc to not to stink, zink to shrink, zinc to blink. Zinc, you need zinc if you don't you have zinc. You need zinc. <laughs> okay. Vitamin D three, ten thousand I use. You need zinc. I, well, I take a product where <laughs> yes. it finds zinc and vitamin C. I took it all through the winter. Exactly. I had minimal issues. Yeah, uh, that's it. Simple. You know. Yeah. Not so, many doctors talking about healthy immune system. They talk about the vaccination. They talk about the ventilation. They talk about all of the stuff that just mask symptoms, not dealing with the root cause of the immune system. When you have a healthy immune system, you have a healthy thymus. When you have a healthy thymus, you have healthy T cells, NK cells to fight not just COVID-19, COV-2, to fight any virus or any bacteria or any yeast in the I, world. I think that is a really great distinction, Dr. Grant, what yes. you just said, because the flavor of the of the season is COVID. Yes. But how many other diseases and bacteria and things that are out there that your body is constantly fighting off? And I think you look at it, the more you live in a state of health and wellness, what you're thinking, what you're putting in. You're right. The more capable you are. You know what? I was thinking about this, hit it to hit on this, because I, I actually do winter sunbathing. I've been doing sunbathing in the winter to stimulate natural vitamin D. But what, I, what I'm what I want to share is think about the winter time. If you're in the north northeastern hemisphere, you got lower oxygen, less sun. Yes. You're inside more, so you're not getting enough vitamin D. Your mood is affected, yes. right? So think about all these things. If you just changed all of those things and you said, "Wait, how can I get more sunlight? How can I get more fresh air? Can I get out more?" Right? Wouldn't that have an impact on your health? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And in every minute, each one of us are exposed to almost like 1,000 viruses, bacteria, fungus, yeast, 1,000 every single minute. If you don't have a healthy, you cannot get 1,000 vaccine you because you'll die from, from the vaccine. But all you got to do is just deal with the root cause, the basic immune system. How healthy is your B cells, T cells, NK cells, WBC, white blood cells, red blood cells, and the bone marrow and the thymus. Right there, the thymus here, I tell my clients, put your hands on the chest here and to see how painful it is. And if you put your hands on the chest and it's painful, that means you have poor thymus. And then when they do this and they activate the thymus, I tell them to do this. And in two minutes, the, the pain is gone and the thymus is activated by EFT tapping. People think that this is silly to do this. <laughs> but this is really the key here. Well, to have a Tarzan, right? Yeah. Tarzan and uh, uh, Tarzan Eugene, right? Yeah, but yeah, if somebody asks you who taught you this, say Dr. King Kong. Don't ever say my, my name, please. <laughs> King Kong. Uh, so here we go. Ivy saying, uh, I had COVID. I doubled down on the supplements like these immunity strengthening. So uh, how are you feeling now, Ivy? Has this made a, a, a difference? Simon, are you ready to join? We have Simon all the way from South Africa, but he's having some connection issues. So um, he seems to be freezing. So we're, hopefully we can get Simon on even just for a few words. Uh, let me pause because we've shared a lot. Let me go back to Joe or Gregory. Do you want to share anything based on what you've heard here? Yeah, well, for me personally, uh, I do I do a lot of things that Dr. Grant does. But uh, one thing that we really need to do is we need to see exactly what's going on in the body. And I use the, the body's own biofield uh, to figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, Dr. Grant has the AL scan mobile, the alpha and omega scan. Uh, basically, I can see all the biological functions, but also I can also send frequencies to my bodies for COVID. And I can send frequencies for vaccination, detox, and yes. a whole bunch of other things. But so uh, a, Yeah, and that's, that's a conversation we can have with uh, some of the folks. Um, and we want to invite you to join us on Sunday. We're going to talk more about that as well um so yeah thanks for sharing that gregory one 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 last thing is if you check pubmed.gov uh, uh search up methylene blue it, uh, yes. it's yes. good for reducing the viral load in the body exactly and it's on my recommendations in january 2020 greg i'm glad that you mentioned that very inexpensive very uh, it's used in eclectic medicine a couple drops under the tongue will pre prevent you from having any virus attack not just COVID-19 any virus methylene blue I, I take it I highly recommend it thanks for mentioning that yes wow so thank you for that yeah. uh thank you for that Gregory uh so let me just grab this share from Ivy she said that uh it helped her 
She's also taking, help me out, Dr. Grant. What is it? Tocotrienol, which is vitamin E and omega-3, highly recommended. I'm so proud of you, Ivy. Amazing. My hair was falling out, but it's now healthy and strong because now she has a healthy thymus, a healthy thyroid that makes your hair grow, your nail grow. So she's she's all healthy and she's also beautiful. Ivy is so beautiful inside yes, and outside. Yes. What was the name of that supplement again? Meta, what is it? Blue? Uh, methylene blue. Methylene. Oh, methylene you, blue. It's only like six bucks, seven bucks. It's not that expensive. You can get it from anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. So I want to pause right now and just tell you, join us on Sunday. We're going to be on from 12 p.m. to uh, somewhere around two hours to one and a half to two hours on Sunday. I shared the link. I shared the YouTube link. Set your reminder and, and make sure you join us on Sunday. We're going to have the other authors are going to be on with us and we are going to have an incredible show jam packed with the stories, more detail on the stories. We're going to be kicking off the book. The book is going to be for sale. So the book's going to be for sale. You're going to hear from the authors live. You're going to get insights to help your health. You just heard from Ivy. I wonder if you uh, had talked to Ivy prior, Dr. Grant, or but but um, something tells me you will be talking to her at some point. Sure. And also, uh, Austin, if somebody has COVID like Ivy, it is very safe to take ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, which is very safe. It's OTC. There's no prescription required. And it's much, much safer than any other antiviral drug that I know. And I did taught pharmacology and toxicology for many, many years. So I don't know why Mr. Anthony Fauci in your country uh, telling people not to take this because there's not enough evidence. Yes, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Grant said there's enough evidence and I challenge you on the air, come with me and arm wrestle me on this, okay? And then I will show you. Hey. <laughs> yes, there you go. There you oh. go. Oh, well, this you. is a great oh, show. I gotta talk. I gotta... <laughs> Uh, so listen, I have um, I have Amy. Amy's one of the other authors. I'm going to see if Amy can join us now. Simon, are you with us? Simon keeps freezing. He keeps trying. Amy, give me a thumbs up if you're ready to join. So Amy, welcome, Amy. I'm glad you made it. Hello, hello. Yay. So good to see everyone. Yay. Oh, yeah. welcome. <laughs> so we're we're going to be. Oh, somebody fell. Who fell out? Oh, Joe. Okay. So we're going to be back on Sunday. We're going to be back on Sunday and we're going to be going for a full two hours. But Amy, welcome. Please share a little bit about it. I want the audience to learn about you and all the amazing things you're doing with oils. And you, I know you get a lot of phone calls, people that are going in, in you know, anxiety. So please. Yes. So, yeah, I'm super, super excited to um, be part of this group and the amazing stories of transformation. And that that's really what my whole chapter is about, my own story of. And I was thinking how to say, well, I, I like to sum it up. I've dealt with um, anxiety, anger, abandonment, alcohol. Uh, but the hardest thing for me of all was wanting approval of all people. That because um, it's, it's it's amazing how that like paralyzed me. I use it like kind of a fear fear based, just being paralyzed. And so you know you'll hear people say you know play big. Well, I was playing small because of fear. And so that's over with. I'm done. <laughs> and and so that's really my chapter's ball. But I'm not the fixer. I was trying to fix everybody else. And what got me so sick was because I wanted to control. I, I mean, well, it was all based on fear. And so then there was anxiety that was underlying that. Because if you had asked me, I'd say, well, yeah, I struggle with worry a little bit. But my faith has been so huge. And so I'm like, okay, I, I like hyper spiritualize myself that everything was going to be okay. So I would say, I have peace. And like, I try to make myself uh, have peace instead of allow myself to be where I was at. That's a major mm. insight. I want you to say that again because I know people do this. And before you, I just want to set this up. You've all heard about the frog, right? You've heard about the frog, you put the frog in water. You turn it on and the frog ends up boiling, not realizing that it's boiling because the temperature is gradual. And when I hear your story, I'm kind of thinking about that. Like you were living in this and you normalized it, but it wasn't normal. And then you got to a point where you couldn't take it anymore. You realized. So say that if you could just share that one more time, because that's so important. So I, I think what I was saying was that I hyper spiritualized it because faith is important to me. And so I'm like, I have peace. I tried to make myself and I didn't allow myself to feel what I was really feeling. 
I didn't allow myself to be in the moment and to feel. And so I was trying to force myself to a place where I wanted to be instead of allowing myself to be transformed to get there. And my body caught up with me. <laughs> Four years ago, everything crashed. Everything in my life, my marriage, my relationships, my family, my kids. But physically, I literally could not get off the couch. It was six weeks. I could not drive my car. Barely could walk. And my body screamed inflammation, screamed everything. So physically, emotionally. And I had to look at myself and say, I know I'm created to have a life that's abundant. I know I'm created for, for you know, I know I'm supposed to be healthy. I watched, I, I got my son off it. He was on eight to 10 meds a day when he was four years old. Wow. And so wow. I knew, I knew how to get, and, and he has not been on medication. So I knew how to get people healthy naturally. Uh, it was a chiropractor that said to me, the body's created to heal itself. And so mm -hmm. like the light bulb went off, went, you know, and this was, this was, this was 16 years ago. <laughs> but what happened <laughs> exactly what like, oh, the, you know, the body creates itself or heals itself. But then I focused so much on him. You know, he was young at the time and he was losing weight at four years old. I put all my energy and I saw results. We got him off of all those medications. We saw his body heal, but I did not take care of me. It was all about my kids. And, and so I got into this pattern of, you know, I wanted to be the mom that was there for my kids and I overdid it. And, you know, I was just telling somebody this, but it's kind of crazy. I used to make them salmon and broccoli for breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, Jesus wow. ate fish for breakfast. So we're going to, I mean, I was so focused on natural health and healing because I saw all these results, but you know, that takes a lot of energy to get up and make mm -hmm. huge meals like that every morning for breakfast. And and I, that's yeah. what I was so committed. And then I got sick in the end because I didn't take care of me. Yeah. Well, now look what you're doing. You have so many gifts and you, you've really just have, again, we're talking about this and how you took this and turned it in to, to your gift to the world. And I know you, it's interesting. You, <laughs> this Sunday is my birthday and is it your is it's my dad's 80th same day oh happy birthday oh, so happy That's birthday it. happy early birthday to you austin thank you yeah and i know you're going to be at the party but we if you can if you carve out like five if you can get on i will absolutely make time i'll get you right on quick get you out because i know we're going to be <clears throat> we're going to be on for a couple hours but i know it's your dad's birthday so i'm glad you were able to come on today let me just give a shout out to jose who's on uh, he's, he's on here as well. He's got a great community. Awesome. And, uh, the, uh, uh, the entrepreneur's book. Entrepreneurs. Uh, yeah. This book will be on his bookshelf, uh, as well. So Amy, is there anything else you, you wanted to share, uh, before we kind of go around again with the authors and then we're going to bring this to a close. Hopefully Mandy can give us a nice recap on today as we get ready for Sunday at 12 o'clock, we're going to be launching the book. Actually, let me do this. I want to show everybody the book cover. So I'm going to pull you back, pull you out of the studio, pull you back in. So let's take a look at the book cover. So that is the book that's going to be available this Sunday for our book launch. We are going to be launching it at 12. We are excited. I'm excited to bring these authors to you. Simon is from South Africa. Simon, are you able to chat here? Is your connection? Okay, I'm going to leave him on there. If it, Hopefully we can hear at least a couple words. But in the meantime, let me, let me turn it back to, uh, to the authors, to Amy. Uh, before you, if you got to get off, I just want to make sure we honor your time here. Well, I wanted to say my mission is really to empower, encourage, and equip moms, especially to love themselves, to take care of themselves, to know that they matter, that they're not being selfish when they take care of themselves. I mean, it's easy to say put the oxygen mask on. Yeah, it's first. freezing, unfortunately. Okay. It, so it's easy to say that, but in reality, to actually do that. Um, and to understand that you're worth it, that you matter, that you have greatness. And as you rise up and take care of you, others around you notice that. And that inspires them to rise up. And 
you'll make a difference as you take care of yourself. Yeah, Amy. So just in case you can't make it on Sunday, why should somebody read your chapter? Exactly what I said. You matter. You, you to matter. know that your job is not to fix the world. It's to take mm -hmm. care of yourself. That right there. So some people can hear that, but they still need to read the chapter to kind of get it to sink in. I think that's the message. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thanks so much for being here. Amy, uh, so I'm going to go around one more time here. Dr. Grant, final words before we uh, transition into the recap section. I think uh, the reason that Amy now is feeling healthy and she's looking beautiful as usual is that she has controlled her PMS. PMS stands for physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. And once you have a balance of PMS... Uh, it, nothing to do with the hormonal monthly fluctuation. I'm talking about physical, mental, spiritual well-being. She managed this and she mastered that. And that's why she's looking 10 years younger. And that's why she's looking vibrant. And that's why she has high energy, positive mental attitude, because her PMS now is all in balance. And that's what people sometimes miss. You know, Austin, uh, Mandy, Gregory, and Amy, number one complaints now for my clients in the past two years, an anxiety, stress, lack of sleep. And I put in 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. What happened? What happened in the last two years? It's all an anxiety and stress. They cannot sleep. They're eating more and eating more of the wrong food. Their PMS is totally out of balance. If you put it in balance, if you read Amy's chapter, if you read my introductory chapter, if you read Gregory's chapter, it's all common theme here. Focus on total balance of physical, mental, spiritual well-being. You could be looking younger, healthier, happier. Who would guess that I'm 70? I'm, I'm feeling 50 and I look maybe 55, 60. But it's all about PMS. <laughs> it's all, all about, about PMS. PMS. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Get the cowbell going. Yeah, absolutely. So Dr. true. We love that, that acronym. It's so memorable and powerful. And so thank you so much for that. Gregory, final words for today. We'll be back on Sunday. You're on mute, brother. Knowing is half the battle. Yes. Knowing is half the battle. Yes. Love it. Love it. It is not knowledge. It's applying the knowledge. Applying it. Yes. They say well, knowledge is power. It's applied that's, knowledge, right? That's yeah. the applying, way to applying, applying, yes. uh, applying is definitely one of the things that you got to do. But I really didn't know before I met Dr. Grant. Yes. And the thing is about you, Gregory, the application was like you were willing to do anything. So I don't think the application was an issue for you. And that's why you're saying that, because you just needed to know the right things, the right tools, you know, because there was no question you wanted to get out of pain. You were going to do anything. It took. I don't care. You got to that point. You were done with the specialists. They weren't they weren't giving you the answers. And then you finally got it. And now here you are as a t testimony. You're going to help. Who knows how many lives you're going to touch through your story. Yeah. So it's it's fantastic. Um, you know what's coming through to me right now? I'm going to share this before we get into the recap. And Amy talked about it, Dr. Grant. The stress and anxiety yes. that people create or allow because they're trying to be something that or that they're not. They're trying to be something for somebody else. They're looking for some kind of validation that's not in alignment with who they really are. And I think that is a, is a really big thing. Okay, we got some exciting news. We got, a, we got another visitor. So we're gonna hang on there a couple more minutes, Mandy. We got another 12 minutes. Uh, we got Jim Grant, who's in the green Whoa, room. Jim. <laughs> Does anybody have to leave right now as far as the authors go? Okay, so let me add Mr. Jim Grant to the show. There he is with the mountains. Oh yeah. Jim, woo! Hey. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How you feeling, Jim? I just got off doing a, a, a broadcast. So for our TV show, we had to pre-record today because I got a meeting this afternoon. So I'm here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm here. Awesome. Sorry, to, sorry to be late, but glad to be here. No, you're right on time. Oh. We, we just we have just enough time. We're talking about the summit on Sunday. We're talking about oh, the book launch. Yeah. We're just sharing some, just some mm. you know little tips or a little bit. We want the audience to know about you, though. Uh, maybe you can give us just a short version so we can okay. set it up for Sunday when we're going to hear more from you. 
Okay. Very quickly, uh, my contribution to the book is about my experience when I had a heart attack, open heart surgery, and all that. But the real thing about that book that I like for by knowing the other authors is that everyone is focused on what they can do for you, how they can be a blessing to you. This book will not be a book that you need. This book will be a book that you want, and you'll want to read it and share it with others because the value of the authors, the content is that good. Thank you for that, Jim. Thank you. you for it echoes exactly what I'm feeling about the authors, the stories, mm -hmm. And that's what I, when I wrote, actually, I wrote the introduction and just talking about how the stories are going to move you, but the practical information that's going to be in there as well as a oh, point. Yeah. It's like, it's almost like you're looking for a sign, go that way, go this way. And we also, I want to drive this home. I really want to drive this home. Your journey is yours. Oh yeah. Your journey is not to follow exactly the path of everyone here. Your journey is to grab the insights that are you're going to use for hmm. your your journey, and I think that's oh, yeah. really really important. Amen. Because when you're driving down the road, you come to a stop sign, you stop, but you don't stay there. You go on. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, Jim, before we again move close out here, I just want to let everybody know. You know, you you had a last year, you had an incident mm -hmm. that changed your life, and that's why you're on this panel right now. Oh, yeah, sure did. Yeah, it's. I had a heart attack uh, on Halloween at midnight, Friday night. Then I find out that uh, the stents that they were going to, they had me in a hospital all weekend and going to put stents in. I get in there for the stents. They said, stents won't work for you. 99% blockage. You got the widow maker. You need open heart surgery. You need it today. It's going to be bypass surgery. They're going to take the, you know, explain to me the process. And basically, at that point, I don't know why, I just simply said, well, Lord, it's in your hands. If the surgery goes well, I go, you know, I'll go home. If it doesn't go well, I'll still go home. But immediately, it was a peace and a calm that just came over me. And I've never felt this before. But I also knew instantaneously the surgery would go well, the recovery would go well, and all that came into play. I share that with you for one reason. I sincerely hope in your hour of need that your faith will bring you the peace, love, and comfort that I experienced. Oh, goosebumps. Because it's second to none. Goosebumps. Yeah, that's a nice little moment. Uh, that, that is, uh, that's deep. That's deep. So for time yeah. purposes, I, uh, I want to transition back to Mandy to mm -hmm. do a, a recap. Mandy, we got about eight minutes or so. We'll... And and I want to give the authors, you can stay on if you'd like. It's up to you. If you want to say goodbye, you can do that as well. So they're all, they want to stay. And Simon, uh, Simon, I don't know if we can get Simon on. Well, if, if you do, just bring him on and I'll just. Let's give it one more shot. Let's see if Simon can just say a quick hello from South Africa. Okay. It's not going to work. So no. let's just move, let's just move on. But Simon, well, hopefully we can get that cleaned up for Sunday, and we definitely want to yes. highlight because he's yeah, got to look forward break. to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we we're into this co-authorship. We're talking about going from illness to wellness, and having a heart-centered connection to do that. We we spoke to Gregory first, who was saying that after thirty years of persevering and trying to find answers, he's feeling the best and the greatest health of all time. A uh, registered nurse friend of his gave him the contact of Dr. Grant. He was skeptical, but he came to learn how uh, to use the body's biofield to see what the what's happening in the body. And this is something a lot of people bypass. And I don't mean that as a pun to Dr. Uh, to George, Jim Grant, but people don't think about the energy, right? They don't think about the energy and everything is energy in the biofields and how we can see what's in there and then work with that energy to, to heal ourselves. Dr. Grant, you were amazing. You, you've got 25,000 plus clients in your over 35 years and your, your core values are not putting a Band-Aid on drugs, but getting to the root, getting to the root and fixing what, what is driving the problem not yes. putting a Band-Aid through use of drugs. Mandy, so, I'm gonna jump in. Mandy, I'm jumping in real quick. Your microphone is rubbing up against the shirt, and I don't want to miss a word. So if sorry. you could just 
that's you the can just move it so what you you know so yep. it does move because I want to hear everything you have to say here. Okay, does that sound better? Yes. Little okay, bit, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I've got the book. Again. Sorry. Okay, let's carry on. So, Dr. Grant, you spoke about going, turning your pain into your purpose or your pain into your gain, not from pain to a PhD. So, in there is the AO scanner, which you use, and Gregory is now becoming fluent and, and getting his uh, doctorate, I believe, in that to help other people. So, that's awesome. We moved on to Joe T. Well, and again, this is a reference back to, to Jim Grant because I remember Joe in his hour of need, he looked up and said, basically, said, God help me. And as soon as he handed it over to God, that's when things started to change for him. Mm -hmm. So, he's uh, very passionate. He's on his wellness journey. Over, he overcame addiction. He spoke about the body's amazing ability as a living, breathing organism that is, in this day and age, sensitive to our environment. So we're not, we're not aligned with what our body needs. So how can we change that, right? The body needs something greater. So he said that we should be honest and open with who we are, and we should take a stand for ourself and our body. And again, this aligns with what Amy was talking about. He spoke about the lady that told him that she hated herself. And again, it was about getting her to the core root and nourish, replenish, regenerate. Don't deprive and deny. So I really like that. Dr. Grant, you came in with controlling the stress levels and the anxiety so that we switched from sympathetic nervous system to parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest, digest, relax, and deep breathe. You talked about vitamin D3, vitamin C, zinc, all healthy immune system um, ingredients that we can take, which gives us a healthy thymus and in turn a healthy thyroid. I know all about that too, because my mom lost her thyroid. So I, I know all about dealing with that. Anyway, Amy, we went on to talk about you're really excited about the stories in the book. And of course, you have a story in the book. So you're just as exciting but your transformation from going going from wanting the approval of all people how many of us as mothers struggle with that right and not putting ourselves first because we always put our children first and that was my motto too as long as i raise my kids to be healthy productive members of society following their dreams my job was done well it wasn't because i i suffered for it as did you you became very ill and then it was a, a, a base coming from a fear base or a base of fear. And you ended up paralyzed, stuck on your couch, nervous breakdown type thing. Been there, done that too, and know exactly what you felt. And the anxiety overtook you. So what changed you? What turned around? You turned to your faith. And throughout all of these, I, I hear the running theme of faith. And it gives me goosebumps because our creator knows what is best for us and our bodies? So you went into allowing, uh, you weren't allowing yourself to be where you were in the moment. You were trying to force it. I must have peace. And as we know, what we resist persists. So the more you tried that, the more anxious you became, the more sick you became. But as soon as you gave up that and turned to Looking at yourself and what you needed, along with that faith, because your body was screaming at you, then your body would be able to create itself to heal itself because it was already created to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So you went from neglecting yourself and getting sick to, em to empowering yourself. And now your mission, your health turnaround has led you to empower and equip, equip excuse me, other mothers to look after themselves first because why? We are worth it and we matter. And I'm saying that again. We are worth it and we matter. And Beautiful. every human being does. Dr. Grant, you talked about how, how vibrant both Amy and what's the name? Ivy, <laughs> almost the same names, because they've controlled their PMS. And I know we always joked about that at the beginning, but PMS stands for the physical side, the mental side, and the spiritual side. And if you have a total focus, you have a total balance, and you, you come to have the vibrance and the, and the energy. And again, just on from my own personal experience, I have a BMI of an 18-year-old. An 18-year-old, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am. But anyway, Greg, <laughs> knowing is half the battle. I'm 25 in four days. <laughs> Joking. 
Greg, knowing is half the battle, but you know what? I always bring the, when people say that, like yourself, wisdom is the application of knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge first, yes. how can you apply what you don't know? And you yes. found that knowledge through Dr. Grant. You began to apply it. Uh, Austin, you spoke about the stress and anxiety of people always trying to be someone else. There's a quote here by Henry David Thoreau, and it just absolutely fits in. What lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lives within us. Jingle bells. Yes. Jim Grant. Jim Grant. I always have smile. One my brother. One yes, we, we're almost there. Jim Grant. Oh, Massive yes. heart attack and, and surgery. Me. They couldn't do by... Austin, shut up and let me speak. <laughs> you had... You, somebody's got to tell him. He just goes on like an energizer bunny. Anyway, you had the widow maker. You had a massive heart attack. They couldn't do that. Well, they had to do bypass surgery. And you had this peace and calm come over you because you turned it over to God and you said, Lord, I'm leaving my life in your hands. I've got the goosebumps again. And you did that. And that peace and calm came to you from him because you knew all would go well. And it did. And your message to everybody through your story in this book, and I'm nearly there, is your faith. You hope that their faith will bring them the same kind of peace and calm that it brought to you and healing. And Austin, your last point on that was to remind everybody out there listening and who gets this book and reads it, that everyone is on an individual journey. Mm -hmm. And if, if some of it doesn't apply or whatever, grab the insights from each story because there is a jam-packed load of them that will benefit you on all levels done Woo! great great job manny that's a great way to end the link for sunday's summit is in the chat it's in the chat you can look it up on youtube austin j haynes youtube for those that are on apple you absolutely want to grab this summit it is life-changing these people's stories they're amazing it's going to touch your heart it's going to help you on your health journey the link is in the chat Everyone, we're going to launch this book on Sunday. We're going to get it out to as many people as we can. I will see you all back Sunday at 12 o'clock, everyone. Have a great weekend. Happy Love birthday. and hugs, everyone. Bye. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>